Hello friends, I am Dr. Aniket Paunoji and you are watching Basic Chemistry. In this video, we will study application of molecular orbital theory to polyatomic species. First of all, let's see what are polyatomic species. In earlier videos, we have studied homonuclear diatomic molecules, heteronuclear diatomic molecules. There we have considered atomic orbitals of the two atoms. Here we have to consider, for example, water molecule. There is one central atom and the other atoms are peripheral atoms. That is oxygen atom is the central atom and the two hydrogen atoms are called as peripheral atoms. In case of polyatomic species, we have to apply first LCAO method that is linear combination of atomic orbitals. According to this method, the molecular orbitals in a polyatomic molecule are formed by the combination of atomic orbitals of the central atom with the group orbitals of peripheral atoms. So when we have to consider the combinations of atomic orbitals of central atom and peripheral atom, there we have to apply another method that is called as SALCS method, which is symmetry adapted linear combinations. According to this, the correct combinations can be obtained by considering the matching algebraic sign of the orbitals of central atom and peripheral atoms. Such combinations are called as symmetry adapted linear combinations. Let's first apply molecular orbital theory to beryllium dihydride molecule. Beryllium dihydride is a triatomic linear molecule in which beryllium is the central atom and the two hydrogen atoms are the peripheral atoms. Then next step is to consider the electronic configuration of the atoms. Beryllium atomic number 4, its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p0. Hydrogen atomic number 1, its electronic configuration is 1s1. The next step is the formation of group orbitals. The peripheral atoms first combine with each other to form the group orbitals. As the simple molecular orbital theory says that, when two atomic orbitals they combine with each other, two molecular orbitals are formed out of which one is bonding, the other is antibonding. Here, 1s orbital of one hydrogen atom combines with 1s orbital of the other hydrogen atom to form two molecular orbitals, out of which one is bonding, which is sigma g red, or it is also called as psi 1, and the other group orbital which is formed by the subtraction that is 1s orbital of one hydrogen atom and the 1s orbital of the second hydrogen atom to form an antibonding molecular orbital which is ungerid. This is also termed as psi2. Therefore, we have two group orbitals. Psi1 is formed by the addition and psi2 is formed by the subtraction. This method is called as LCAO that is linear combination of atomic orbitals. Once these group orbitals are formed, these group orbitals combine with the atomic orbitals of the central beryllium atom. So what are the orbitals of the central beryllium atom? First there is 2s orbital and then there are 3 2p orbitals that is 2pz, 2py and 2px. Now to overlap with these, we have two group orbitals psi1 and psi2. Here we have to match the algebraic sign. To overlap with 2s orbital, there is psi1 orbital or sigma g red orbitals. As there is matching symmetry, psi1 can overlap with 2s orbital. Similarly, if we see the symmetry of the 2pz orbital, the psi2 has the similar symmetry and hence 2pz orbital can combine with psi2 orbital. Now there are no orbitals to overlap with 2py and 2px. Therefore, these orbitals remain non-bonding. So when we will construct the molecular orbital diagram, here we can see that the 2s orbitals overlap with psi1 and 2pz overlaps with psi2. So there are 4 are combining, so 4 molecular orbitals will be formed, 2 are bonding and 2 are antibonding. Along with that there are also 2 non-bonding orbitals. This method is called as symmetry adapted linear combinations. Let's see the scheme for the formation of molecular orbitals. There are total 4 atomic orbitals which are available for bonding 2s, psi1, 2pz and psi2. When 2s orbital of beryllium atom combines with psi1 group orbital, there are total 2 molecular orbitals are formed. The first is bonding molecular orbital which is formed by the combination of psi2s 
plus psi 1s and psi 1s. This is sigma s bonding molecular orbital. And similarly, there is other sigma star s, which is antibonding molecular orbital, which is formed by the subtraction. 2pz orbital overlaps with psi 2 to form two molecular orbital. The first is bonding molecular orbital sigma z, which is formed by the addition. And the second is antibonding molecular orbital, which is formed by the subtraction. Let's construct the molecular orbital diagram. At one side, we will consider atomic orbitals of central beryllium atom. And at the other side, we will consider the group orbitals. At the center, we will have molecular orbitals of beryllium dihydride. So the atomic orbitals of beryllium are the 2s orbital, then 2px, 2py and 2pz orbital. As hydrogen is more electronegative, its energy will be at lower side. So there are two group orbitals, psi1 and psi2. As we have seen earlier, the 2s orbital of central beryllium atom combines with psi1 group orbital to form bonding molecular orbital sigma s and antibonding molecular orbital sigma star s. Among three 2p orbitals, the 2pz combines with psi2 group orbital to form bonding that is sigma pz and antibonding molecular orbital sigma star pz. There are no symmetrically available orbitals to overlap with 2px and 2py. Therefore, these two atomic orbitals remain non-bonding. Now there are two valence electrons in 2s orbital of the central beryllium atom and two electrons in the group orbitals. These four electrons get occupied in lower lying sigma s and sigma pz orbitals according to Aufbau principle and Hunt's rule. Therefore, its molecular electronic configuration is sigma s square and sigma pz square as both these molecular orbitals contains two electrons each. There are no unpaired electrons, therefore it is diamagnetic in nature and it has linear structure with 180 degree bond angle. When we look at the structure of various molecular orbitals, the combinations of atomic orbitals of the central beryllium atom and the group orbitals appear like this. I know you have followed the application of molecular orbital theory to beryllium dihydride molecule. Then click on like, do share and subscribe my channel. Also hit the bell icon to get the notification of my new videos and keep watching basic chemistry. Thank you.